Golda's mother is at work. Now, Golda's mother left her cigarette sitting there on the table. Would the Foozer think that it's okay for Golda to smoke just one? Now, that's a good question. Let's see what Megan Webb from Rinkin Elementary says Golda should do. The Foozer will say no because cigarette has a drug in it that's very bad for children and she should not take it. Loser would say that smoking is not good for Golda. She ought to leave those cigarettes alone, and the Foozer would also say it's just not safe to play with matches or a lighter either. That's right, Foozer. Smoking is definitely not good for Golda, and we all know that children are not allowed to play with matches. Hey, boys and girls, when we come back, Miss Gamble will tell us how a butterfly communicates and why they are so important to planet Earth. How do they communicate to each other, the butterflies? They also use smell to communicate. Also, if you're watching They use smell to communicate. How do we communicate, humans? Talking. A lot of different ways, I guess. The hand, we can communicate with our hands, facial expressions, right? Right. We could sign, talk. Okay. They also use some body signals for communication. If you watch in the air, you will see some butterflies kind of chasing each other around. Now, that could be one of two different things going on there. That might be a male butterfly telling another male butterfly, hey man, get out of my neighborhood. This is my area. Now, if you see some butterflies chasing each other around, another thing that might be going on is you might have a boy or male moth courting a female butterfly. Okay. And uh, so that's another way that they let each other know that they're interested. You know, does it hurt a butterfly if we're walking through the park and we see a beautiful butterfly and we want to touch the butterfly? Would you recommend that? I really wouldn't recommend that you did it because every time that you touch it, it brushes some of the scales off of that butterfly's wings. They're so fragile. And so what happens is over time, every touch, every brush decreases that butterfly's ability to fly. Also, what if you just ate a bunch of french fries and you had a bunch of oil on your fingers and then you touched a butterfly? Oh, that wouldn't be good. Oh, then you might really inhibit his ability to fly. Butterflies are very, very important pollinators of the plant world. Do you realize that if butterflies just suddenly fell off of the earth and there were no more butterflies, yeah, about a third of the plants in the world would suddenly lose all their pollinators because butterflies pollinate those flowers. Great, now great. how that helps the plant is by moving that pollen from one flower to the next so the plant can continue to develop and grow. Do my, uh, are, are some types of butterflies poisonous? Are some types of butterflies poisonous? Not to That's people, a good but that is a very, very good question because because of the plants that some butterflies eat as caterpillars, they are poisonous to their predators. Now, do you know what I mean when I say a predator? Something that's going to eat a butterfly, right? That's what I want to find okay. out. Who would be the biggest predator for a butterfly? The biggest predators of butterflies are birds and snakes and frogs, but frogs. mostly birds. birds. But in the rainforest, frogs are a big problem. So the birds would actually just swoop this fly in the air and take it right Absolutely. out of the air? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, some of the bright colors that you see, like this zebra longwing with the yellow and black, or if you see a butterfly that has a lot of yellow or red in its color, chances are, if he's not poisonous, he at least tastes really, really bad. Anytime that you see a yellow, orange, or red butterfly, that butterfly is trying to tell predators, I taste bad, you wouldn't want to eat me. Now, do you know that butterflies are so smart? There are actually some butterflies that don't taste bad, that look just like the ones they do, and they trick the predators. It has, that has just fascinated scientists for a long time. It's called mimicry. Wow, butterflies are some of the most amazing creatures in the world. In a couple of minutes, we're going to release some of those beautiful winged insects in the conservatory. But first, here's a butterfly trick. I told you we would do a great trick, and here it is, guys. 
This is with a butterfly because we're hanging out to butterfly gardens and, and look at this beautiful butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's really, really pretty. Now, if you're sitting at home, and if you, you know, obviously you wouldn't have something maybe this beautiful, a butterfly, but you can use a coin or a small ball, uh, you know, a penny or a nickel, a dime, all that stuff works really well. Uh, but the trick is, we're going to see if we can make this disappear. And this is really cool. All you need, you need the item that you're going to make disappear, a cup, a small cup. There's a styrofoam cup that you should be able to find around the house. And a piece of paper towel or a napkin and watch how this works. You take the butterfly, you sit the butterfly down and the trick is to make this butterfly disappear. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the cup, cover it over the butterfly and I'm going to cover up the cup with some paper towel just like this so everybody can see that the cup is there and the butterfly is not going anywhere. Just let me one more piece and watch how this works guys. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Everybody has to believe it. The count three, one, two, three, say I believe. I believe. And abracadabra, you pick it up like that, and hmm. Ha. Wait a minute. The butterfly is still there. Let's, let's try it again. At the count of three. One, two, three. Say, I believe. I believe. And pick it up, and the, but the butterfly is still there. It's not working. Let's cover it up one more time. So I, I apologize. Let's really concentrate. Let's really concentrate. At the count of three. One, two, three. I believe. Stop. Wait a minute. I could make the butterfly disappear, but I made the cup disappear. Let's give everybody a big hand. <laughs> now, how does that work? Okay, I'm sure you guys are waiting. This is it. This is some great magic. The, the ability to make people look where you want them to look, misdirection. Watch how this works. The cup is under the table, under the bench. Watch how this works. See, I get everybody focused on the coin or the butterfly, and I tell everyone from the start, this is what we will make disappear. I put it down, I cover it up, we take the paper towel to make the shape of the cup. See, you make sure you push down on the paper towel so you see that, that's what you want. When you pick up the first time, you're training the eye again to look at the butterfly. No one's paying attention to the cup. They look, it's still there. Oh wow, I messed up, I'm sorry. Let's try it again, one, two, three. Oh man, I messed up again. The next time I come down with the paper and the cup, I drop the cup out of the paper towel. Let's try it again, just like this so everybody can see it. And the cup falls out, see, whoop, right under the table. No one sees that. You come back up, you sit the cup back down. People think the cup's under the paper towel. And all you do is you say, okay, the count of three, one, two, three, I believe, and you push down. Guess what? I couldn't make the coin disappear, but I made the cup disappear. And you'll blow people away. You can also do that with a salt shaker, pepper shaker, instead of a cup. And it's a great trick. Let's give everybody a big hand, my young magicians. All right, you guys are really cool, my whiz kids. Yeah, give it up, give it up, give it up. Give me some love, give me some love. How about on the back side? Oh, front side, in the hole. And you got soul, yeah. You guys want to see some more? You want to see some yeah. more magic? All right, I'll tell you what. This you can do also. You can take the ball and you make the ball go right through. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You can see that. So you can take the ball, you cover it up like this. You make sure you push down on it so you see the shape. Now what happens when you push the ball, make sure that when you put, wait a minute, if you do it too hard, the ball will disappear. <laughs> wait a minute. Come here for a second, sweetheart. Let's pull it back out Where's your ear. Now, if you're watching very closely, you take the ball, you can actually put it in your mouth. Ah, you can swallow it. You can do it like this, bring out your nose. <laughs> How about passing it right through the bench? Watch this. See the hole? See, people don't see that. Oh, yeah. See the hole? You take this ball, you can actually push it right through the hole. Right there, and it comes right through here. It comes back. Mark show. Hey guys, we have the opportunity to get some butterfly. We have a, I think they're in a case. And what we need to do maybe at the count of three, did you guys say abracadabra? One, two, three. Abracadabra! That's it. That's the key word. And we will magically make these butterflies appear. How's that? All right, oh, yeah. on somebody. All right. Okay. Now, what, how are we going to do this? We're okay. going to count to three, and, and then everybody says abracadabra. You guys, here, you, here's one corner, and you take the other corner right here and just lift the door up, okay? Here, come here, Zach. Get in here. You can get around here. All right, but well, hold it. Wait, what's the magic word? Abracadabra. All right, this is just practice. One, two, three. Abracadabra. All right, no, that was practice. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. 
Look at this. There's one, two. Oh, don't touch them. No, nope. just let them. They'll all come up to the top and come out all on their own. Oh. Here now they tell go. us, how did they get to this stage? They're in here because they went through. We just took them out of the we emergency took them box, out of the emergency box. And then we put them in here and bring bring them out into the conservatory so once nice their wings are dry. So they're nice dry. The wings are dry. Yep. You can see he's pre preparing for takeoff here. Look at that. This one's about to take off. Look at that. He's going down the runway. He's taking, yeah. What a great Creed and Magic Mark show. Really, we appreciate this. Oh, what a you great so much. time. We learned so much today about butterflies. Did you guys have a great time? Yeah. Come on, give her a big hand. Callaway Gardens Butterfly Garden. And I understand you also have a few butterflies that decide they want to hang out. They, they're not ready. They'll go when they're ready. They'll go when they're ready. It's like an artist, you know, they can't perform till they're ready. Well, thank you so much. It was lovely very, to very have nice. you all. Okay. You all have a great rest of